Hey there. A few weeks back in Altamont Gardens, the nice OPW guy suggested we visit Huntington Castle and uh, we might partake of a, a walk around the grounds and um, there might be a tour on offer there too. So that's where we're going today. We'll see you there later. I'm running out of time, every day goes by so fast. And every moment counts, baby, I don't want to miss a thing. We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars, or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car. We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars, under the stars. Try for some Grove and Sharo Bistro if they'll have us, if it's open. That's what I'm hoping. That was a bit of a bust without a reservation, so we're going to get a couple of burritos instead. Oh, look at this little place then. No burrito bus. A mini burrito. Tortillas. Guac. Sour cream. Hot sauce. It's like a mini in this jig. Very cute. The weather isn't the most stellar. Welcome to Ireland.
looks like it. Oh, this is what I was using at the religion thing. Yeah, it must be some sort of a Wiccan thing or semi Egyptian thing going on, maybe. maybe. Standing now, all those years ago, was the kitchen behind you guys, double fireplace, so you can imagine the ox on the spit. Some of the woodwork and stonework down here has been recycled from the 14th century cavernous stronghold and the ruins of the abbey. But I guess you just want to know what's going on down here. So, do you remember in the tapestry room I spoke about Olivia, her brother, his wife, Yates, and Russell? So, what they felt was the organized religions were very masculine. This is all about divine feminine, Mother Nature, Mother Earth. The religion was founded in 1976 and it's called the Fellowship of Isis. Isis being a feminine goddess. Main one here on the altar. Connections with Egypt. Explains why you've got all the Egyptian stuff down here. There are also lots of other goddesses down here from all over the world. Any of you notice the cross of St. Bridget on the gate? Yeah. Another mm -hmm. goddess. And they've all got their own place in the temple and their own meaning within the religion. It is still an ongoing religion, so they still meet down here regularly. There are over 32,000 members worldwide, can you believe it? It's how we communicate nowadays, isn't it? And the members are multicultural, multi-faith, multi-race, and they celebrate the equinoxes. They celebrate the solstices. And do any of you know the old Irish calendar wheel, calendar month, Samhain being one of them, which is Halloween or November, that comes into it. So it's pre-Christian. People liken it to paganism or druidism. The well you saw is said to date back to the time of the pagans, has about 15 feet of water, and it's said to have healing properties. Front of the altar, picture of Olivia and her brother Derry. I'll just walk around with it very quickly so you can see. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Now, Olivia died at the age of 96, and her eighth anniversary is this November. So we're talking 2013. Not that long ago, really, is it? Um, Derry, he passed 1994. His wife, Pamela, 1987. And one of her cousins is now in charge of it down here. The current owner and immediate family, by that I mean his wife, his mother, kids, siblings, not members, not involved. But they've got cousins, distant relatives who are, and obviously non-members of the family. Uh, but believe it or not, I can sum all of this up in a sentence. And that is, it's a celebration of the divine feminine. It's a girl power. So, there we go. What do you think? Or don't you? <laughs> do they have anywhere else that they meet other than here? Well, this is where it started. Right. Um, I would guess people have their own little, yeah, yeah. you know, gatherings. Because I've had people from America, I've had them from Germany who are like on a little pilgrimage. Right, right. They were members, so they'll have their own bits over there. Yeah. yeah. Mm. But, I mean, there's a lot of paganism around anyway. Yes, yes. Mm. A bit different. Mm. Uh, eyes all over the place, yeah. Lots of things to see. I don't know whether your eyes... It's very busy. Yeah, I don't know whether your eyes saw this. Can you see there? Yes. Yeah, it's a Tibetan bell. Mm. Very heavy, very old, made from mixed brass. The purpose of it is to do with meditation and prayer. So you give it a dong, it emits a tone. You close your eyes, you focus on the tone. Clear your mind of all the rubbish that's going on around you, then you're ready to meditate and pray. The harder you hit it, the longer the tone, and it has been known to go on and on, a bit like I do. <laughs> feel like I do anyway on these two, <laughs> on and on. Um, believe it or not, it's hard to hit hard. 
So what do you reckon, shall I? You wouldn't oh, change, you maybe you would have been there if you hadn't been. Oh. Mm. Are you sure? Because once I've hit it, are you ready? Yeah. yeah. You're all members. <laughs> <laughs> I know people move back, don't they? They think it's going to be like a gong. Yeah. yeah. But it is, isn't it? It's nice. Mm. It's very calming. Yeah, yeah the same yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. Or tinnitus. To what? Tinnitus. tinnitus. <laughs> Have you got tinnitus? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's nice. I think it's very calming. Oh, it's lovely. It's very soft. Yeah. But as much as I'd like to stand here listening to that, we've got to move on. You see the room in front there with the lamp, tapestry yeah. room, 1760. Yeah. To the right of that, the conservatory, 1860. Yeah. To the right of that, you see the two urns and the gap in the hedge. Yeah. There are steps that take you through the gap to the front of the house, ruins of the abbey, 9th, 12th century. So as I say, you've got all the different uh, ages going on there. The gardens are set out Italian style. Very quick rundown for you. Let's say you've been to the front of the house, you come down the same steps, you follow the path, that is the centre path, takes you to the trees behind you. You go under the trees, you walk down to the water. So that was the tour. We weren't really allowed film there apart from in the basement. So uh, now we're just going to have a walk around the gardens. ruins of an old abbey dating from the 9th to 12th century. It's a nice place. Mystical. <laughs> Game of Thronesy. Is that water down the end? Or am I? Who says Ireland is isn't tropical? <laughs> um. oh. Must have been. Thought you could very easily fall in. Oh, that's dry there, more or less.
Huntington Castle was supposed to be one of the first private homes in Ireland with uh, electricity. And they had their own hydroelectric station. And this is it back in the day. There's posh and there's posh. This goes beyond a diesel generator though. It's a nice little garden. Mmm, they smell nice though, right? Views of the hills. This is a greenhouse, then. So, one of the residents is supposed to be like a pre cast concrete innovator or something. Apples. Fodder for the chickens. So this was the cutting from that, yeah. uh, the Anne Boleyn, was Anne Boleyn grapes? Or Catherine Seymour, I can't remember. Just some, you know, me and fruit. Oh, yeah. They are actually quite sweet. That? Chucky and carrot cake. Mm -mm. So that was that. Nice little visit to Huntington Castle. I'm just going to pop home now. And I um, hope you enjoyed the watch. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Cheers.